How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. I reviewed a lot of neck pillows and I'd say this is a very good one. This one is special in that it tries to keep your neck vertical. I'm gonna strap it onto this chair and you hook the front together to close it up. So if it's reclined, your head is not gonna fall forward. Once you're strapped in, Let's say you wake up and you want to use the restroom, right? You're going to like go like that and go, oh, what? You have to remember to unstrap yourself. So unbuckle this and then you can get up. Let's say your seat is upright because there's a meal session going on and you doze off. So you're more vertical like this and you bobble your head forward. I guess it kind of holds, but then it's not intended for your head to lean forward. This pillow is more ideally suited when you're in a reclined position. So you are leaning on this side or the other side. I like how the backing material over here is particularly thin. Many times neck pillows are two to three times thicker on the back, putting pressure on your neck. There's a little storage area here for maybe a card or earplugs. The velvet part touches your face and I find this very comfortable. Let's open the back up. I've complained about some neck pillows, how the inner part, it's not sharp enough to get under your chin. You can either loop it through here and use it as a double loop, or you can open them up and connect them this way for a longer loop. When you're done, you just roll it up and put it in the included case, kind of like a cinnamon bun. And the case has this buckle as well, so you can clip it onto your luggage. This whole thing weighs 12.35 ounces. If you can't strap onto the back, you can still use it as is by itself. I somehow like to push this underneath my chin, and so I can really rest on it like that. If you're interested in this neck pillow, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.